As I've got to say, I'm loving this new shower tent. I just needed to get something out of the cupboards here. Oui. I just folded the back. What? We've got full access in here. It's perfect. Trouble, trouble. Couldn't do this with the other one, could we, guys? No. Wait. Do you remember when the old tent used to be here? No. The old shower tent? No. Yeah. That's oh, just heaps better now. Just fold it back. Then when you're done. <laughs> close it up. Did you really have to do that on me? <laughs> G'day guys, so just a super quick little video about this shower tent I've just added to the Robbo. Now I got this idea, or got the inspiration for this uh, off of one of the MDC Facebook pages. There's a bunch of people that have already uh, done this mod and I think it's a really, really good idea. For this ensuite tent mod, all I needed was an old jockey wheel that I was fortunate enough to have lying around. Once I had liberated the swivel mechanism and discarded the rest of the jockey wheel, I just needed to make some minor modifications. After a trip to Bunnings for some heavy duty brackets, I just needed to drill a couple more holes and attach them to the swivel mechanism. The great thing about this mod is that it stays permanently mounted to the boat rack. And once it has been raised, a simple twist of the swivel has the shower tent ready to be unzipped and set up. I didn't find the original tent that difficult to set up, but this one is so quick and easy and packing it away is just as simple. Once it's zipped away, another quick swivel puts it in the vertical position ready for the boat rack to be lowered. With the old one, once it was packed away, it was actually quite bulky and we stored it uh, in the drawer up the top here in the shelf it takes up quite a bit of room so now we don't have to leave that in there anymore and we'll try and jam something else in there i suppose <laughs> there was nothing wrong with the original ensuite but my biggest annoyance with it was that because it was clipped to the canvas it made accessing the drawers a real pain in the bum And as you saw at the beginning of the vid, just by folding in one arm of the shower tent, you get full access to the drawers. Right, so this particular tent, I don't know about any other ones. Uh, this is a King's one that my old man gave to me, but this particular one doesn't have a pass through for the shower rows, like the one that came with the camper. But it does still reach over the top. So if you want, you can still have your shower in here. So. Like I say, I don't know about any other brands, but this particular one doesn't have a pass through for your shower rows. Not a huge deal breaker. It'll still work. So I think the only disadvantage with this one is depending on the weather, you might get peed on. <laughs> and I'm not just talking about if your aim's bad. <laughs> it doesn't have a roof. Now, I don't know what other models are like, other brands. This particular one doesn't have a roof. So obviously if it's raining, you're gonna get wet in there. All right, so obviously that's where the porta potty lives as well. Um, hey, what are you doing? Oh, sorry, sorry, mate. I'm sorry. Doing something here. Oops, sorry, buddy. I can see you over the Get out! <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you out there.